Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at Transformers Beast Wars issue 11 and we've got this beautiful cover B going down which I really do like um, cover B seem to be the ones that I want to get and this is written by Eric Burnham and the art is by Josh Bircham and letters is by Jake M. Wood so we have the A team on this book so we've got a story so far previously on Beast Wars. And then we have Maximal Strike Back Part 2. So they are on the offensive. Ugh. Sorry, my wife's um, sprayed and it's gone up my nose. It's not good. Um, anyway, this is the cast and it's a, quite a big task for, for Beast Wars. The comic and we have a frustrated Megatron who is trying to decipher the disc which he believes it is connected to him, apparently, and it's his destiny's destiny. Uh, however, the Maximals are attacking. Megatron is actually very excited to have the the distraction from his real concerns by fighting the, the Maximals, and. Um, it's great that Dinobots are alive as well. Now, whilst the big bots are making all the noise, the little bots are gonna gonna get inside and they are gonna do what they were set out to do. However, Black Arachnia has um, other plans, but Cheetah is on the offensive. He wants to get, not revenge, he wants to get even, I guess, is the word I look for. And... They discuss the, the credentials of what Dinobot has given them. Is this actually real or is this, you know, uh, a trap, etc. And we can always just blow it up. But that is not Primal's plan. He does not want them dead. He just wants them stuffed, which is a big, big difference. And some very, very blurred lines, if not followed, etc. Now they find the trans warp, which is in the war machine, which... Uh, Lynx is very excited because it buzzes that, that science mentality of hers. Wow, this is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. And she's looking for the trans warp. However, Tarantulas comes in and he has unfinished... It seems like everybody has unfinished business with each other. However, this time Lynx is not disabled. She blasts his little gimmick, whatever. And um, yeah, that's that bit done. Meanwhile, um, Rat Trap finds Duck, Chuck's a duck, but more importantly, he finds the golden disc and takes and, and thinks himself, this wouldn't just be left here like this. I need to just verify a few things before doing whatever he's going to do with it. He's either going to take it or he's going to try and download it or something like that. Now, if this is in canon with the Beast War series, I guess he's not going to get the opportunity to do either of it by the end of this issue. Or by the end of whenever this little mini run ends. So, um, pretty much outside, it is full on war. And the Maximals are getting a real heads up. But Scold is still definitely uh, something for them to be concerned of. However, Razor Beef, Beef, Razor Beef, he wants some beef. Razor Beast is. Um, Almost um, taken out by a pterosaur at this point, but um, Razor Beast is no um, slug in, in battle, etc. And he tries to intervene between uh, Scold and Primer, say, You don't have to do this, let's talk to her, let's tell her what we're doing. She, you know, because they've built up this bond and she's on our side. However, pterosaur takes her friend Razor Beast off and he talks about the floaty island. So, what happens if. The floaty island is rupted. Well, it goes kaboom. So he is literally dropped off. Razor Beast to his death. Meanwhile, um, Megatron and Dinobot are fighting. And Megatron sees the weakness. is He's favoring his right side in everything he does. But his left side is suffering. Which is the part that was mainly damaged. And Megatron seizes on that. Literally, he is having a having himself some lunch there, some chow time. And he is ready to deal with, finish it off, 
as you would expect. But you know what? Primal's not going to let that happen. Primal s s slips in nice and easy and is ready for whatever they're about to do. However, that bit of the story is cut short and we're seeing what's going on elsewhere. And then we get a uh, terrestrial uh, saying to scold, you get out there and you do what you need to do. Don't you dare ignore orders and stuff like that. And she loses her crap and she kills Pterosaur. I always hated you. So, him speaking to her like that and dropping her friend to her death has uh, led to Scold losing her crap. Now, this is very interesting because usually it's somebody on the good side that loses their crap and does something to the good side. Um, so, complete opposite in this story. So, Something new for me, I guess, which is awesome. But, you know, they're Predacons. What do we expect? However, she is different from a Predacon. She is not the normal Predacon. Um, she she was always bullied and stuff like that. So I guess a lot of that frustration, etc., is built up and boom, she's exploded, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. And uh, she speaks of Waspinator. Pterosaur's dead. And, she said, and he said... What, they killed him? Don't worry, he will be avenged. And then she says, avenge. And then this concludes in the next issue as well. I believe that's it for Strike Back. So, a little free issue miniseries of this battle. We have um, Skull perhaps losing, maybe losing at marbles. I'm not sure of how deep this actually goes. So, this is going to be very, very interesting in the next issue, I feel. Then we got the lovely... Uh, maximal mailbags, and it's the dramatic conclusion next month. These are the other covers. Ugh, variant covers. If I could turn the page, I do like that one. Not getting it. Not getting it. And that is it. So I enjoyed the issue. Um, there was a lot more action in this issue rather than uh, character development, but there was a big character development around Scold and, and her development, which I liked because I always felt like her and Nynx in, in these, other than a couple of issues, were being, they were being set up as cannon folder to be destroyed at some point, um, which by the looks of it perhaps isn't the case. So I'm happy with that, very happy with that. The artwork is gorgeous. I love Barney, Barney the Dinosaur, I mean Megatron. Um, <laughs> you know, the drawing, I do enjoy the drawings in this book. I, I appreciate everybody's art. Everybody's art is different. Everybody has a different style. And it all seems to work with Bircham. So, um, fantastic job. I'm looking forward to the next issue. I'm still waiting for that that real oomph moment. Um, but Pterosaur having his um, spark ripped out. That was a moment that I, I looked at and I went, what? What? You can't do that to Pterosaur. Pterosaur is a main character. So um, you, you think he's not dead, surely. Um, but I did enjoy it. But what does that hold for Scold in the future? So I'm enjoying this. Very, very interesting um, storytelling. So thank you for watching. Um, if, if you like my stuff, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And look after yourself. Breast geekiness. Take care, folks. Goodbye.